everybody and welcome back to yet another video and to another unboxing haul here on the channel. Today, as you can see, we have an item from Amazon, just one item in this box. And honestly, I don't really know how to preface this unboxing um, because it's very hard to talk about this without giving away what the item is. So I should probably just get started by just opening it up. Um, I guess all I can say is... Uh, you you might have seen this coming. If you've watched my channel for the past few years, you probably, n um, you, you might have a good feeling as to what this item is. And if not, when you see it, you'll probably go, oh yeah, that makes sense. So you know what, we're just gonna start right off by opening it up. I don't usually buy things from Amazon, as you guys know. Uh, not the biggest fan of Amazon when it comes to how they package their cars, but this isn't just like a regular car. Um... So, I didn't have a problem with ordering it. And... There... Ooh, whoa, whoa, I did not mean to open the box up that much. The whole... The whole top ripped. I meant to just bend it. Um, well, as you can see, the item inside is... It's the 2022 Mini Racers Advent Calendar. I have very mixed feelings on this Advent Calendar. I'm sorry that I couldn't... Got the whole thing in frame yet. I was trying to move the giant box out of the way. Very mixed feelings about this advent calendar. Uh, because honestly, quite frankly, I, I, I kind of love it. But also, I kind of don't. It comes with five minis. And of course, the reason why um, I buy these advent calendars now. And I have been since 2020. Is because now they come with exclusive minis. Um, although... Now, they, they do reuse the McQueen, and I believe they reuse the Mater as well. I think last year's had the Mater, um, just like 2020 did. But, yeah, I, I love the fact that, once again, it's a Radiator Springs-themed advent calendar. Last year, our exclusives were Red, Flo, and Luigi. But this year, we have Ram Ramon, we have Fillmore, and we have Sally. And what I love about them is, just like the McQueen, they are based off of Mater Saves Christmas, which, of course, is where all of the... Christmas diecasts we get every year are based off of. Um, so, yeah, for years I've been wondering, like, hey, where's the mini of Christmas Cruiser Ramon or Fuel Tide Cheer Fillmore or Sally? I've mainly just been asking about Ramon because he seemed like an obvious inclusion in each of these advent calendars. For the past few years, the exclusives have just been cars with snow on their wheels, but here they've sort of ditched that concept um, to give us more book-accurate minis. Fillmore probably would have benefited from a new mold instead of just having the Christmas lights printed on him. Sally looks a little odd, but it seems like she'll be metallic, which is pretty cool. And of course, it's just the same lightning emitter as always. Once again, a missed opportunity to not include a holiday um, snowplow McQueen, just holiday hotshot McQueen. And it would have been really nice to get a metallic version of this mini, which I also said last year, because in the, uh, the 155 scale version of this diecast is metallic, and then Mater is just back. Where this pack sort of loses me is the accessories, where a lot of the 2021 pack's accessories were reused from 2020, but this year, I don't think there's a single new accessory included this year. Everything is just a recolor. I love the track system that they do with these mini calendars, um, and, you know, and the, the 2020 pack was Piston Cup themed. The 2021 pack, or calendar, I guess, was Radiator Springs themed and included Flows and Luigi's and more pieces of track, including like an ice rink. Um, and this year, they went for something a bit different. They kept the Radiator Springs theming, but replaced the snow and ice theming with a gingerbread house theme. And I love that, and I think that's kind of absolutely adorable, and I really, really, really like that concept. But, um... It did allow for them to cheap out with their accessories, like making everything just single color red plastic pieces. Because, you know, oh, they're just supposed to be candies on the gingerbread house, right? Um, the cone tree here is reused from last year, now just in green. Uh, the track might be different. Um, I think these curved pieces may be new. Uh, but it is a little disappointing because for the past few years they've... They've used this track system and have sort of been building off of it, and now we're getting a completely different color of, of track system with it looking like gingerbread instead of it looking like snow, which I don't really mind. You know, there honestly wasn't that much else to do with the track system from 2020 and 2021. It is just a little annoying to be back to, like, a regular old circuit. But I love the gingerbread aesthetic. Uh, probably the worst thing about the accessories is that they reused Luigi's and Flows from last year's. 
uh, despite this year coming with Fillmore and Ramon instead, which is just like that really screams lazy. A lot of this screams lazy. The reuse of of materials, the reuse of all this stuff, and just repainting it. The using one solid color. It's almost like they chose a theme, the ch the theme of gingerbread, because it would just be easier to reuse stuff. And while I really, really like the candy decorations, I didn't actually notice that originally, not even when I ordered this. I just thought, oh great, they reused these and now they're just one solid color. No, they made them covered in icing and, and stuff and sprinkles. And I think that's cute and I like that concept, but like the least you could do was make some new plastic molds for Ramones and Fillmore's. I buy these for the minis, but I've really begun to love all the accessories, especially the track. And this year, I like the concept. I do. I honestly really do, and I don't think there's that much to complain about. I know it sounds like I've been complaining a lot, because I have been. But, yeah, I think what they're going for works. They just could have made some better choices. But at the end of the day, I love the sort of sprinkle frosting design on the buildings. It's just like, you should have made new buildings. But if they had the idea to not reuse, or sorry, to not make new molds or anything, and just reuse stuff from previous calendars and just repaint it, then it works with the theme they were going for. So at the end of the day, I'm kind of mixed on this advent calendar. Um, this time around, though, for me, it really is all about the minis. For last year, I, I really, really liked the accessories in addition to the minis. This year, for me, it really is just about those minis, especially because they are more accurate to Mater Saves Christmas than ever, instead of just being regular variants of snow on them. While I love those variants, it is cool to get some in line with an actual piece of Cars Canon. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this item in the comments, especially compared to last year's advent calendar or the 2020 advent calendar. I want to know if you guys sort of share my sentiments about it. I'll see you guys next time. And of course, wait, I almost forgot, I almost forgot. Um, as per usual, we will be opening this up every single day leading up to Christmas during my 25 Days of Suggestions series. More news on that will come out soon. Bye now.